Hey everybody, it's Henry W. Steele, and I'm sitting here reading the tunnel through the air, and I've got a few minutes left before I have to go make dinner, so I thought to myself, what better thing to do than to make a video for YouTube? I've got like 10 minutes, so I figured I'd go ahead and put one together really quickly, but I'm not going to talk about tunnel through the air per se. I'm going to talk about how to create number series, or a series of numbers that are related to each other by other numbers. Now, this is probably pretty obvious, but I just wanted to go over it just to be helpful. I'm sure there are a few people out there that will appreciate this. And if you don't, then I'm sorry for wasting your time. But just let's start with the number three. Okay, so the number three, we're going to multiply this number by another number. And then we're going to take the product of that multiplication problem and multiply that by the same number. And we're just going to do that over and over again to create a, an exponential number series. And that just means a number series that grows faster than if it were just an additional number series. So let's take 3 and multiply it by 3.65. And I bet you can figure out why I'm using that number. I'm not going to tell you, but you can figure it out. We get the number 11. Of course, it's rounded to the number 11. If we take the number 11 and multiply it by 3.65 again, we get the number 40. Take the number 40 and multiply it by 3.65, we get the number 146. If we multiply that by 3.65, we get 533 rounded. Multiply that by 3.65, we get the number 1945 rounded. 1945 times 3.65, 7,099 rounded. 7,099 times, you know, 3.65 is 25,911. And of course, we can go on and on and on and on and on and on. Now, just doing the multiplication like this, you create the number series, but the products of these multiplication problems, you can actually find things like the square root or even the cube root of these to get other numbers of importance. So we started with 3 and multiplied it by a number over and over. So let's start with the number seven. And this time we're gonna multiply it by a very popular number. We're gonna multiply it by pi. And not just because pi is delicious, but because it's a very important mathematical problem, not problem, but number. We get the number 22 when we multiply seven by pi. 22, of course, rounded. Multiplied by pi yet again we get the number 69 rounded, right? So 69 times pi, again, is the number 217 rounded. Now, this uh, can keep going on and on. 217 times 3.1416 is 160, 100, I'm sorry, 681. I was reading it backwards. 682 rounded right there. So 682 times pi is 2142. And then we can go on and on and on and on. But you get the basic idea here, right? I hope you do. It's really simple. And I know it seems like a really just dirt, stupid, obvious thing to do but you'd be surprised how so many people just don't do the most obvious thing to start building a foundation and a structure to do studying and figuring things out with so anyway i have to go make dinner so i appreciate you spending these few minutes with me while i show you these number series and i will talk to you in the next video